Saturday marks the start of what forecasters predict will be a very active mm. hurricane season. Tonight, an inside look at the amazing drone technology being used by those hurricane hunters. My team's Karen Hensel has the special assignment report into the eye. Dr. Joseph Sion is a meteorologist on a mission. I love my job. His job is to lead hurricane hunting into the future. This plane flies at 10,000, 12,000 feet, 8,000 feet. Why don't we fly below that? It's way too dangerous, way too dangerous. That's where these lightweight but high-tech drones come in. You're throwing a plane out of a plane. The P3 behind me is going 220 knots. So you're jettisoning something out and expecting it to just get its bearings and fly. So it comes out in the cylinder, then you have the wings deploy, gets acclimated and does its thing. The drones collect data at low altitudes and transmit it back to the hurricane hunter plane. When this storm makes landfall, we're at the coast. We're not at 20,000 feet, 10,000 feet. We're all down here. So when these storms make landfall, we want to know what the, particularly what the winds are. Back in September 2022, the winds of Hurricane Ian reached 160 miles per hour as it approached Florida's southwest coast. The biggest flight we've had so far is in, in Ian itself, which that alone, that was a crazy flight. Holy cow. Oh, Video from inside that plane shows just how crazy it got. That initial transect through the Western Eye Wall was, for me personally, the most violent, most turbulent transect into a storm. And it was so violent that we ended up leaving the storm but not before successfully deploying a drone into Ian's eye. Once dropped, its location is marked by a bullseye on this remarkable radar image. This thing measured set world records, 216 mile an hour. We recorded the strongest winds by any drone anywhere, on this planet anyway, an incredible mission. Speaking of incredible, sail drones, like their name suggests, literally ride the ocean's massive waves. So this thing is sitting in the ocean, experiencing 50-foot waves. The sail drone is nice because it gets us right at the surface. Uh, we can see what's going on uh, in the ocean, because remember, the, the, the energy from the ocean uh, is how the storms stay alive. Whether it's flying drones or sail drones, the key is for the data they collect to help improve forecasts here at the National Hurricane Center. I think there's a real future for some of these instruments because they can fly in areas of the storm that, that manned aircraft cannot. That's something that is an absolute must of this program is to get the data to the people that can make these life-changing forecasts in real time. The mission is a personal one for Dr. Sion, a former South Florida resident. Spent many, many years in Miami, uh, loved my time in Miami. If this technology can get implemented, places like Florida, particularly South Florida, are going to benefit uh, quite a bit. And we will all benefit from the information gathered by these new forecast tools. That's the overriding mission for NOAA, right? We're here to uh, protect property and save lives. Which is why critical improvements in technology now will lead to better forecasts in the future. Karen Hensel, 7 News. Well, it is rapidly approaching, so for more on how to prepare for the upcoming hurricane season, catch our special Surviving a Storm tomorrow at 7 p.m. right here on 7.